This is where literature will take you. Hey you, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Growing Zone 6B in New England and it's starting to feel like autumn again. So let's bake some bread. Came off of all recipes like a million years ago called Amish white bread. I'll see if I can't find that and hook you up down below and I'll show you how I changed it as well. This calls for six cups of bread flour. If you hang out with me, you already know that means 720 grams of bread flour. It's 120 grams to the cup. I like to stick by that. I might rightly say, We're going through another chaotic moment kind of business out here. Um, and it's just, it's just a super chaotic kind of energy. I don't know how else to put it. For example, I'm beside my porch here and um, these chickens who are not mine are grazing. I'm getting a great meal. What is the etiquette for this? Do I just toss the chickens over the fence, herd them home, which is what I've been doing. Um, I think my birds might be calling them over. This one's my favorite. She's super pretty. I know you know I missed a video last week. Thank you for your grace. I appreciate it. You ever find yourself in one of those seasons where everything and everybody is just kind of extra? That's the week we've had. And all I can hear in the back of my head is that general public song. Maybe it was English Beat, Sugar and Stress. It was English Beat. That song is like front and forward. Do you do that too? Like you have songs or maybe poems <coughs> that linger a little bit. So much slam poetry. No, I'm, I'm not trying to yuck your yum. I'm also just poking fun because we were really involved with the slam poetry scene for a long time. Gen X. And boy, howdy, look where we are now. This is where literature will take you. 720. Oh, you went back to 19. Come on. There we go. All right. 720 grams. Someplace in the middle of all of this, I kind of, I lost the thread for a minute, you know, and bye. Bye for a minute. <laughs> uh, I have baked bread like once in the last month. Two months. But I broke that up last week. We finally got a loaf of bread or two out of me. This is our everyday go-to sandwich bread. It makes fantastic French toast. This is also the bread that I have used in stuffing. It's a fine crumb, less of a stretch. So come on along, it makes a great sandwich. Notes from Wednesday. Fear not, this can be done without a mixer. Where you see me using the stand mixer, just get it on the table and Give it a knead. It takes about seven to 10 minutes of kneading to get it right where it needs to be for its first rest. This used to call for two thirds a cup of sugar. I would like to go with a quarter cup, please. One and a half tablespoons of dry active yeast. I'm gonna go deal with some stuff and I will meet you back here in about 15 minutes. Say hello to the goth garden, which perished in the last storm. See pluckish sunflowers, black petunias, and strawberry popcorn that we're waiting to just dry out at this point. Most of this just fell over in the storm. A lot of it's dead. I am so glad I got pictures of it when it was in good shape. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. At this point, I'm just really waiting for the mustard seed pods to finish ripening and dry out. Oh, girlfriend, look at these rose hips. I think I can probably leave them on the plant just a little while longer while these guys ripen up. Ooh, we fluffy. So now we're ready. I'm gonna add some stuff to this. While the camera was off there, I added a quarter cup of olive oil. This recipe is super forgiving. 
which is good. Really, I don't cook a whole lot of stuff that's not. One and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm going to add half of our flour to this and turn on the mixer with the dough hook on stir until it comes together. This is us, add a couple of minutes into it. And there's the rest of our flour. I'm gonna put this down and start it again and stir. We're about at the two minute mark here. I wanna open this up and scrape down my sides. We're still a little bit shaggy, but you can see it's coming together. This will go for a couple minutes longer. It really just doesn't take very long with the mixer. And this is, so, this is the third, no, this is the, <laughs> I scraped it down three times. And now is the last time. It's really sticky dough. And this needs to rest in a well-oiled bowl. Pulled it off the side there. Gonna pour a little oil in there. That's probably a quarter cup. I was a little less thrifty with that than I meant to be. I'm gonna lift it up until oil, all the oil gets under it. And I'm gonna lay it back in. So the whole thing is now well oiled. I've got her resting and I'll see you in 90. Waiting for my bread to finish rising. It's got another little bit on it. And meanwhile, I'm gonna butter up my pans. I have saved the wrappers for my butter and they make this job so easy. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of flour, roughly, um, to this, and then just, ooh, let's see what it looks like in there. Right, okay, so. I'm watching it in the, it's backwards. Oh, I should be doing this over the sink, y'all. Enough left here to do the other pan. And it'll look like that. They've got some little spots on here where it didn't, didn't get greasy enough to catch the flour, but that's cool. And we're back. Our bread's been rising for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, but it's more than doubled its size. Punch it down a little bit. So I'm gonna cut this in half with my bench scraper. And I'm gonna start kneading it. And I'm not doing a lot to this, just more of a fold than anything else. Kind of making it into this little, this cute little packet here. Give it a little spank. I'm gonna put a towel over them and I'm gonna let them rest under the light of the stove. This is a 30 minute rise. Meanwhile, I'll be preheating the oven at 350. Hey, how nice. We're at temp and it's time to go in. The bread is gonna bake at 350 for 30 minutes. See you then. Hey Bill, yeah. I'm gonna pull the bread out. I'll be right there. Oh, oh it's perfect. perfect. Oh, awesome. So these went 30 minutes and slid right out. Oh, this is nice. 
You hear how it sounds hollow? Listen. Okay, you like the end. Oh, I do. Oh, just lean, lean back, lean back for okay. me, buddy. All right, this is our bread. Ain't she pretty? She's fluffy. The crumb is chewy yet still a little cakey. It's a nice sandwich bread. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. 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 That's some good bread. It's so good. Mm. This is a good bread for soup. Like to enjoy with a big bowl of soup. This is a good bread for just about everything. Mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging out. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. Bye bye. How long does it take to cook? Let's see. For fries, it's 90 minutes. Half an hour to get to there. Another half hour. It's a lot of waiting. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to actually calculate it. All right, so a half hour. And then a half hour to make it. And then 90 minute rise. So we're now at two hours. And then another half hour rise and then a half hour in the oven. So three hours?